Alrighty. What's up, everybody? Peter Gilmer here, trying to get this goddamn video up. Uh, something's been going on with my phone lately, but... Hopefully we get this one up, but we'll see. Anyway, what's up, everybody? Peter Gilmer here for another video, right here, on the former home of the Gilmore Chronicles, now known as The Shadow's Lair. And I'd like to welcome you all, once again, into The Shadow's Lair. This is episode number 27 of The Shadow's Lair series. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you like the video. Hit that subscribe button down below in my pants. Down in the description box below. And as always, find me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Share the video all over the internet. And don't forget to tap and slap that bell. Treat it like it's your bitch. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss a goddamn fucking thing. And if you do, well, too bad for you. And that's all I gotta say about that. This is it. That's it. Alright, just want to make this short and sweet because I'm going to be going out in a little bit to do some errands, get my uh, sensible lunch, and then I will be back later, I'll be back um, a little bit later, I'm going to do a quick Smackdown Rampage Thoughts video, try to get as much as I can, I might go live right before SummerSlam, and then I will be on Chase's panel later, to later tonight, he's doing SummerSlam, so... Going to be talking about SummerSlam. It's going to be a very interesting show tonight, I think, from Nashville, Tennessee. Yep. Hopefully it doesn't pour there. It was, there was forecasting with rain all freaking weekend. And, um, uh, already Kentucky, Kentucky, already got, um, lots of rain, flooding, pe 25 people died. So, my condolences go out to the people, the families of the people that died in the floods of Kentucky. But, so, hopefully, uh, SummerSlam goes, goes through without, um, any problems, like with rain or some shit like that. But, you know, it's a Nissan Stadium, so it's an open-air stadium, so lightning and Satan can come down and a torrential downpour, and then might not have SummerSlam tonight, but we'll see. We'll see. I think it should go through, go on without a hitch, but it is what it is, and that's pretty much all I gotta say about that, uh, but other than that, I hope you're having a great day, it's, uh, 1.32 in the afternoon here on July 30th, 2022, the end of July, we start the dog days of August on Monday, and, uh, pretty soon, five weeks from tomorrow, well, this weekend, actually, from five weeks from this weekend, the unofficial end of summer, Labor Day weekend. And for some of you, you're going to be starting school pretty soon. Sucks for you. But yeah, certain states, they start school in early August, early to late August. But here in the Northeast, we start after Labor Day, which I believe is going to be September the 7th or 8th, I believe, here in the Northeast. So the so summer is so soon to be over. I will be in command. No. No, not like that, that, not like that Twisted Sister video, but pretty much in about five, uh, depending on where you live, two to, two to about five weeks left of summer for you people. And it sucks to be you, that's all I gotta say about that. Yeah, it is what it is, my, my grandson's gonna be starting kindergarten in, um, a week from Wednesday, so, so, he's getting bigger, the guy, the kid's getting bigger, kid's getting bigger. And he's going to be six years old in November. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much it for that. And, um, yeah, but I'll, I'll see him, um, I'll see him in, um, in, uh, in the winter time for Christmas and New Year's. I'll be going, um, I'm actually, this time, really, hopefully going this year down to, uh, that Sunshine State, if you know what I mean, down south, uh, for Christmas and New Year's. I was supposed to go last year, but... Uh, the flights were just way too much, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna stay here, but, it is what it is, but hopefully, um, this, this Christmas, I, uh, me and the missus will be going down to, uh, a warmer climate, and not staying here, and looking at a blizzard, I'm gonna see what happens with that, celebrating my birthday, maybe celebrating, uh, uh Christmas and New Year's, but we'll see what happens. We're going to go there and if we can get some good good deals. By then, because you know, when Christmas comes, the the, the price for, the, for a flight anywhere goes up dramatically. So, 
And you know there's going to be delays. There's delays up, up the wazoo this year with with the flights, especially for doing holiday weekends. Labor Day weekend is going to be a pain in the butt. Flying, taking a bus somewhere, or whatever you want to go. Maybe on the train, too, but there might be some delays. Well, I doubt with the trains and the buses, maybe, but the planes, yeah, that's probably going to be a lot of... Uh, A lot of delays, but, you know, hopefully you can get to your destination safely and don't have too many delays, but a too long a delay, but we'll see what happens with that. And we move on from there. So, hope you have a great weekend, everybody. Still going to be kind of hot here in the Northeast, 85 right now. It's supposed to be 80, almost 90 today. And then it's going to cool down a little bit, but then get rack it right back up to about in the, in the low to mid 90s by... This time next weekend, so it sucks, but it is what it is. Summer is about to end uh, unofficially in five weeks, but officially ends in about seven or eight weeks. That's when the fall begins, and then the temperatures start going down. And then then uh, the sun goes down about seven, six, seven o'clock, and then by by the time November hits, it goes down about a little a little after five p.m. So. And then we have to turn the clock back, and then it's just some chaos. But it is what it is. And that's that. All right, everybody. Uh, before um, I have to run out really quickly, so I'm gonna do my um my SummerSlam predictions right right now for you. SummerSlam live tonight from Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. Yep. And we got an eight. We got eight matches on the card, and the show's gonna last three and a half, maybe four hours at most. I mean, there's no pre-show matches, but there, I mean, there will be a pre-show. But I think it starts at seven. I think it starts at seven or eight p.m. Not that it matters, but whatever. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you're gonna watch it, it's on Peacock or your local um pay-per-view provider or whatever you're going to watch it from. I'm going to watch it on a stream for free. And I will also be on Chase's stream later tonight, uh, probably around 7 o'clock, 7, 8 o'clock to, to talk about SummerSlam, watch SummerSlam, and that's all, all good and dandy. And then tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, early afternoon, I will be doing my SummerSlam review on the Peter fucking Gilmore channel. I would do it later tonight, but I'm going to probably, by the, by the time SummerSlam is over, I'm going to probably go to sleep. Not that if it puts me to sleep before then, but we shall see what happens with all that. Alright, anyways. Alright, let me get this done, hopefully. Because the last two times, my, my phone just went off by itself. I don't know why, but I think it's just a glitch. I had to restart the phone. What else is new? This phone, this phone's been like a year or two old and it's having wacky problems, but it is what it is. Alright, let's get to the card and let's not waste any more time. I have to go out, do some errands, come back, gotta, gotta do my SmackDown Rampage thoughts. I might go live, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I'm not gonna go out too long. I'm gonna be going out in the next uh, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then um, I'll be back, and then um. I'll go I'll probably go live probably on three maybe three 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 thirty do my SmackDown Rampage thought uh, review and then go right into SummerSlam on Chase's channel and then that'll be it for the day. And then uh, tomorrow, like I said, we'll be doing the review on the Peter Fucking Gilmore channel. So hit that bell, subscribe to the channels, and that's it. All right, let's move on. All right, so let me run down the card for tonight. Like I said, eight big matches. And let's get into it. All right, so I'm taking this from the Wikipedia page, as always. Not in any order, but we'll move on from there. All right, so we're going to start off with um, a singles match. We got we got the return of that idiot social media douchebag, Logan Paul. He's going to be taking on The Miz. I wonder if Maurice will be there, looking hot as always. God damn you, Mike Mizanin. If you had a hot chick like Maurice, you would like to have two kids or more with her. Jesus Christ. She has a, she has a body of a fucking goddess. Woo. 
And she's French Canadian too, so that's even that's a plus, so. But god damn I what the things I would do do to Maurice. I'd like to have a hit show too. Ms. and Mrs. in the third season. But anyway, I digress. Um, yeah. So Ms. and Logan Paul should be a pretty decent match. You know, Logan Paul put up a video the other day training like a madman. Because now he's an official member of the WWE roster. He signed a exclusive deal to um, have some matches. Probably have some dream matches coming up uh, pretty soon. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, he's taking on The Miz. This is coming off WrestleMania 38. When him and um, The Miz took out the Mysterios. And then uh, Miz turned on Logan Paul after the match because he was so jealous. Um, and then over the last couple of months, we didn't hear much from Logan Paul. Now, uh, he's coming back. He signed a deal with WWE, like I said. And now wants to get back at The Miz. And Miz is like, I don't give two shits about you. Now he's affiliated with Tommaso Ciampa, the psycho killer. And Ciampa beating the crap out of everybody, like AJ Styles and company. And last week on Raw, Ciampa beat him up, even though uh, Logan Paul got away. But it is what it is. I think Ciampa will be at ringside or get involved in the match. Um, I was thinking it, that since... Uh, Logan Paul and AJ Styles were did a little uh, promo, not promo, well, promo segment on Raw this past week. I was thinking there might be a tag team match that Logan Paul was like, hey, AJ, you want to help me out against Miz and Tommaso Ciampa? Not that it have been a great match anyway, but I was thinking that, but we're going to get a singles match. But I wouldn't be surprised if AJ is on the show. I mean, he's not advertised, which sucks. Seth Rollins is not advertised, even though there's rumors that he's going to have a match tonight against a mystery opponent, which I'll get to in a minute, and who that could be. But we'll see what happens with that. Um, so, this match, I'm going to go with Logan Paul, obviously, to beat The Miz. It's just academic. Logan Paul is going to beat The Miz, with, with Chompers help or not. But that's pretty much it. And I think Logan Paul will have another... Uh, Pretty good uh, match. You know, when he had the match at WrestleMania, we thought, like, oh, he's, this guy's got no no experience or anything like that. But he was, like, coming off the top row, fog splash, like, Eddie Guerrero, this say, you know? Kind of shocked everybody. He was like, holy shit, when did he learn this? Just same thing with Bad Bunny. And Bad Bunny might be uh, coming back to have a match pretty soon. That's from what I'm hearing. Maybe, maybe Bad Bunny beat the Royal Rumble again, like he was this year, and got eliminated by Brock Lesnar, which did not sit well with my Puerto Rican goddess, Issa, who's in Nashville, by the way. Good stuff, Issa. You looking hot, as always. Good lord. <sighs> Too rich for my blood. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it is what it is. But I love her anyway. But, yeah, that's that. So, man, maybe we see Bad Bunny come back to WWE. Dwight Howard actually cut a promo. You know, Dwight Howard, formerly of the Orlando Magic and the Houston Rockets. He actually cut a promo. And possibly, may, maybe, thinking about joining the WWE. Who knows? We don't need more celebrities wrestling. It was like, oh, I got the itch. I'm going to get into the WWE and wrestle. Get my ass kicked. Yeah, just for promotion to get them get that paycheck, right? Pretty much. So we'll get that. Alright, so Logan Paul's gonna beat the Miz, and that's all I gotta say about that. Alright, our next match for the SmackDown Women's Championship, we got the champ Liv Morgan to get on the hot rod. Rowdy Ronda Rousey in a rematch from Money in the Bank where Liv Morgan cashed in on Ronda after her match with Natalia. And she won. The title, surprisingly, and everybody was, like, happy. I was happy. I was like, finally. But now, you know, this is a rematch. And now that we saw last night on SmackDown, where they had, they teamed up. And they won, surprisingly. Like, I was thinking Ronda would just beat the fucking shit out of Liv and not, like, tag her or anything. But somehow they, uh, they still kind of respect each other in a way. And they 
formed a little tag team and they beat Natalia and Sonya Deville last night with the goddamn do. But, you know, this match should be pretty good. Um, I already said it. I'm going to go. I said it weeks ago. Ronda's going to win the title back from Liv. Liv already. Uh, room, uh, news reports saying that Liv wasn't going to hold the title for long anyway. So she's held it for close to a month. So, sucks to be you, Liv Morgan. So, you're going to lose to Ronda Rousey. Ronda's going to win the belt back. And then, possibly, we could see Charlotte Flair come in tonight. Or, Bailey. Though, I don't want to see Bailey and Ronda Rousey go out on SmackDown. I'd rather have Bailey go after Bianca Belair. But, we'll see what happens with that. I think, well, Charlotte's already in Nashville, Tennessee, to be with her dad, who has his uh, final match tomorrow with, you know, teaming up with his son-in-law, Andrade, to take on Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal. And that, and uh, Ric Flair's last match, that whole pay-per-view that's coming out tomorrow that I'm not watching, and I personally don't care about it. I mean, the rest of the card is great, I just don't want, like, don't care about the match, the Ric Flair's supposed final match, because, you know, Ric Flair is 74, 75 years old, and he got offered to do 10 more matches, 50000 a pop. So that's about $500,000. That's half a million bucks there, Rick. But Rick's like, nope, not doing it. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, take into account Ric Flair's health right now. Not so good. I mean, the, the videos leading up to the match... Very cringe. But it should be a good match. And I think, uh, you know, Flair is going to go out on his terms. I don't know if there's going to, him and Andrade going to win the match. I would probably think they will, but we'll see what happens with all uh, that tomorrow night. But like I said, I'm not going to watch it. And I don't personally care. But that's that. Uh, but yeah, speaking of Charlotte, like I said, I think Charlotte will appear tonight. Making her comeback, we'll be on the SmackDown brand, and then we'll see Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair at Clash of the Castle for the SmackDown Women's Championship in a rematch from WrestleMania. So we'll see what happens with that. And we move on. All right, then we go to the United States title match. Bobby Lashley, the almighty Bobby Lashley, taking on Austin Theory, Mr. Money in the Bank himself. Uh, should be an okay match. I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley to retain. Obviously, I think it's just going to be a bad night for Theory. Uh, there are rumors that he will cash in tonight on either Roman or Brock. And lose. I think it's a bad idea. It was a bad idea to even give him the damn fucking money in the bank. I mean, just go watch my rant. Which is legend, Derry. On my PG Rants channel. But... I just don't think they're going to do anything with Theory. I know he's, he, wa he was Vince McMahon's pet project, and now Vince is gone. And now how Roman's like, your daddy's not here anymore. And then Theory's just in fused with Drew McIntyre, Dolph Ziggler, Bobby Lashley, Roman, Brock. Got your hands full there, Theory, don't you? But, and he's just getting beat up every fucking time. He's putting on good matches, but still, he's losing. Why? But, okay. Whatever. So, he's going to lose this match. Bobby Lashley's going to retain. And then, later on in the night, Theory will try to cash in on Roman or Brock at the end of the Last Man Standing match for the undisputed WWE title and lose to Roman, most likely. But, we'll see what happens with that. Let me move on. All right. Then we're going to Pat McAfee and Happy Slappy Boring Snor Snorbin Corbin. Uh, long story short, I'm going with Pat McAfee to win. Should be a hard-hitting match, but, I mean, you really want to see Corbin win? So, I'm pulling for Pat McAfee to win this match and beat the fucking shit out of Corbin. And that's pretty much it. Alright, uh, in a match that was announced earlier this week, and now it's going to be a no-disqualification tag team match player, we got the Mysterios, Dominic and Lee Mysterio, Booyaka Booyaka! Taking on the Judgment Day of Punishment Priest or Damien Priest and Fiend Batter with the returning Rhea Ripley at ringside. Should be a pretty interesting match. You know, the rumors of Edge Stain coming back as the Rated R Superstar 
possibly with somebody. It's not going to be Bray Wyatt. I'll tell you that right now. It's not going to be Bray Wyatt. With all the new, those creepy vignettes. I was like, I am coming. They show Rey Mysterio's mask and uh, Kurt Angle and Eddie Guerrero, John Cena, Undertaker, stuff like that. So, Edge is coming back as a rated R superstar or maybe some other type of gimmick. Like a darker rated R superstar gimmick, maybe. I don't know. But Edge will be back tonight. Possibly with a female female because uh i would assume that if he wants to go after the judgment day it'll be him somebody and possibly a female maybe late maybe tonight or later down the line and that female i don't know who that could be probably somebody from nxt but we'll see what happens with that i just don't think bray wyatt is going to be appearing tonight there's probably a 0.001 percent chance that bray wyatt appears tonight but Edge will probably appear tonight, and I think we'll have his own faction going up against the Judgment Day faction, probably at Clash the Castle or going into Survivor Series. But we'll see what happens with that. Uh, as far as the match, I'm gonna go with the Mysterios to pick up the win, and that's um thanks to Edge. So move on from there. All right. Um, then we um before we get to the tag team titles, I'm gonna go to the women's uh, Raw Women's Championship match with Bianca Belair. She Bianca Belair. She plays with her hair. That's not even her hair. It's Bianca Belair. So she takes on the man Becky Lynch, or otherwise known as Rose's uh, Rose's Issa's dog Roman. Issa, you still will not lay, not let that down. She will not live that down for the rest of her days. Because her dog, because when um, Becky came out with that weird ET looking hat, and then the hairdo, I was like, God damn, she looks like freaking Nisa's dog, Roman the big dog, <laughs> and and freaking Issa was just going completely berserk on on her video to uh, like a week or two ago. Still has it on her um on her Instagram. It's on her Twitter. You can thank me for that. So, but anyway, it should be a pretty good match. Um. I love the, for Becky to get back the belt so she can get out of the doldrums, per se, but I think Bianca's gonna gonna retain the belt, but I would not be surprised if Bianca beats Becky and then like in like 29 seconds or something like that, they'll, they'll kind of roll it back to like Bianca beating Becky in 29 seconds, and then next thing you know, Bailey comes back because comes back she's medically cleared to come back now. Bailey comes out and either challenges Bianca at Clash the Castle or has a match. Bailey wins the match. You know, Hunter's got those ideas. So, we'll see. But I do see Bailey hopefully coming back tonight. And we'll see the feud that should have ended last year. But due to Bailey's knee injury, she's been out for over a year. And now we'll finally get the conclusion to the Bianca Belair Bailey saga, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. But as far as be be uh, Becky Lynch and Bianca go, I'm going to go with Bianca to retain, and that's it. All right, then we go to the undisputed WWE Tag Team belts with J Garrett Double J J E Double F J A Double R E Double T. That's Jeff Jarrett uh, as a special guest referee. Uh, we got the. Ooh, so it's Jimmy and Jay taking on the Street Profits, Angel Dawkins, and Montez Ford. This is going to be a slobber knocker of a match. Now, as we saw it last night on SmackDown, they had a big fight, even though Jeff Jarrett was trying to give out referee instructions. And then Street Profits was like, hey, hey, Jeff, what would be the disqualification if I, if I uh, you know, kick Jimmy's ass and he comes back with face paint on? You know, the old Usos. Usos. <laughs> We are the Usos, and we eat monkey brains for breakfast. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. That's that, those Usos. Not the, we the ones Usos. But, you know, then they had a brawl, and then Jeff Jerry got super kicked by, I think it was Jimmy Uso by accident. But it is what it is. So that might uh, play into the match, but I'm thinking that the Usos are, are going to retain. They ain't going to lose anytime soon to anybody. Unless, you know, I was thinking that Usos will win thanks to Jeff Jarrett. would be on the payroll. Everything like Roman's like, oh, Jeff Jarrett beat the bloodline, you know. Roman got that stroke or something like that. Not that kind of stroke. You know, Jeff Jarrett uses the stroke as his finishing move. But, 
I think the Usos are gonna win thanks to Jarrett. Or maybe some chicanery again. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Uh, but that's all I gotta say about that. So I'm gonna go with the Usos to retain again over the Profits. Uh, as much as I want them to break up, they're not gonna break up anytime soon, but I think Montez Ford eventually will be uh, either turning heel or going on a singles run by himself, or Angel Dawkins turns on Montez Ford, which I think is gonna happen pretty soon. But. Yeah, the Usos are going to retain, and I don't see any tag team beating them right now. Not even the New Day, not the Vicious like Viking Razor, I call him War Machine. Not, not, uh, not Shaggy and Jinder My Balls. Not anybody. I think the Usos will just hold those belts until they just don't feel like holding the belts anymore. Or somebody comes up from NXT, like the Creed Bros, or ooh, Pretty Deadly. To finally get those belts off them, but it's not going to be the Profits, I'll tell you that right now. It's not going to be them tonight. I hope not. Because the Usos have held the belts for over a year now. And Romans hold the belt for almost two years. And counting. But, that's it. Alright, so I'm going to go with the Usos to retain. Pretty good match. And I think Jeff Jarrett is going to be, you know, turning on the Profits and helping the Usos retain. But we'll see. Let's see what happens with that. All right, then in your main event, the best part of the pay-per-view, and the only thing I'm actually caring about for this pay-per-view, last man standing match, the final match for the Undisputed Universal Championship, or the Undisputed title, whatever you want to call it. We got the champ, the tribal chief. We must acknowledge him, Mr. Cockfist himself, Roman Reigns, with my name is Paul Heyman at ringside. He takes on Brock Lesnar. This is going to be a hard-hitting match. I wouldn't be surprised if there's blood in this match. I mean, you got to use everything on the, underneath the uh, underneath the ring and the kitchen sink, basically. They're going to beat the living fuck out of each other for, I would say, 20, maybe 30 minutes. But then again, you know, you never know. Uh, but it's going to be a hard-hitting match. Probably a lot of ref bumps in this match. And, uh... Maybe, maybe a lot of uh, interference. Maybe the Usos come out to to help Roman. That would be a given. Uh, so as Brock goes, maybe somebody helps Brock. But maybe Drew McIntyre comes out and helps Brock Lesnar. Theory will probably come out. You know, during the match, it's like, hey, both men are down, and he comes out. It's like, hey, I want to be in the match. And you know what happens? It'll be like WrestleMania 31 all over again. But this time, um, instead of Seth Rollins. Cashing in and winning against against uh, Roman, Deary will cash in and lose. I think because Roman will just knock him out with a with a Superman punch or spear him half to death. Roman will retain the belt anyway, and Roman will continue on as champ, going on to his second year and going on to clash the castle to face Drew McIntyre, which is already kind of penciled in. Hopefully, he doesn't lose, but. There are some stories going around that Drew McIntyre may win at Clash of the Castle. It's in his home home country of uh, Cardiff, Wales. So, so the Roman Reigns era may end September on Labor Day weekend, but hopefully not. And we'll see what happens with that. But as far as this match goes, Roman will retain, and Brock Lesnar will go bye bye. And that's pretty much it. And Theory probably will cash in and lose. And that's pretty much it. So, Roman will retain. The Roman Empire will continue until further notice. And that's all I got to say about that. All right. So, that ends my predictions. Let me know what your predictions are down below in the comment section. We can do a video reply if you wish. Um, That's pretty much it. All right. So, that's it. Thank you all for watching TSL number 27. Uh, I'm going to go out for a little bit to do some errands. I will be back probably about an hour, hour and a half to do my raw excuse me, not my, well, SmackDown and Rampage review, get that out of the way, go live for a little bit, and I'm on the Kill or Demons channel, get you set up for SummerSlam, little preview there too, and that'll be it, and then we go into SummerSlam, like I said, I'll be on Chase's uh, chat on his channel, when it's watch along, whatever you want to call it, we'll talk, have fun, 
And uh, if you mindless zombies want to go on the show and try to ruin it, well, fuck you, because you should be really either working or doing something else. Instead of watching my show, which you do religiously, those your, your horrible videos, which have, have uh, no merit... And all you do is for clout views, even though you get like 50 views in a day, which is horrible. I get more than you in a day, but it is what it is. But I digress. So, that's it. You want to watch me later or live later or on Chase's channel, go ahead. I, we don't really care. It's the same old regurgitated bullshit that you fucking people do. We don't care about you. I don't. And I personally don't care about these mindless, these three mindless jackoffs. Because that's what they are, jackoffs. Like jack off to each other. Douchebag from England. Douchebag from a shithole in Massachusetts, and another sh shithead from Rhode Island. So it is what it is, and that's all I got to say about that. Three shitheads. Get work for another shithead. But I digress. Anyway, I'm getting out of here. Thanks for watching. Peter Gomez signing off. Peace out. Rock on and rock hard with your coke out. And if you're not down with that, well, you already know this by now. We're the prophecy. We're the best thing going today. And you can't handle that. You can't roll with us. You're not down with us. Well, we got three words for you. Fuck you, man. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peter Gomez signing off. Peace, bitches.